traders from around the world, what's going on? It's your boy, Ricky Cadden from Real Life Trading Australia. Trust you guys are doing absolutely stupendously splendid today. The SPY doing exactly what we thought was going to happen, guys. Um, I did speak about this on Tuesday, saying that most likely we would come back down to the 20 or the, the 10 or the 20 and most likely bounce. Um, in the afternoon room, actually, with in, in real life trading, we did speak about there being a gap down and then most likely fading higher. So if you were a part of the real life trading room and community, you would have known exactly what to do today when we opened up at the markets. Uh, if I just take a look at the five, I'll take a look at the intraday. I want to show you how I played the SPY today. Did not make that much of a gain personally. Um, so here's how I played it. I'll just unhide these drawings. So as you can see, actually I'll hide them first. So as you can see, at the start of the day, we had this beautiful bearish high wave candle. So what I was actually looking for was a push higher and then a retest of this high wave candle. And then I was looking to buy. So I had a limit buy set up at 20, uh, 297.30. Now this particular trade was only done with half an hour. Um, I was looking to leg into this position. And so how I traded it is came in, put half an hour on the table, stop all the way down here. And as soon as we broke out of this cute little pennant here, I was looking to add, uh, add on to my position. So doubling my position here. Now my target, believe it or not, was actually up, up, up here at 299. Um, we did get there by the end of the day. However, I personally did get trailed out for a, a little... 0.3 R gain right here. Um, so as you can see here, we did have a tweezer top pattern right here with both the highs of these candles being 298.12. So as you can see, we did actually fade higher eventually. Um, personally, I was just a little bit too early, but all I did was put the trade on as soon as this broke out of the pennant, increased my position and moved my stop to a uh, 0 0.3, uh, 0 0.3 R profit um, because at this stage right here, I was actually up 1.3 R. So in my rules, I cannot lose on a trade if the trade has gone more than one R. I just have to lock in some sort of gain and I mean, not overly upset. If I did hang around, I would have seen this amazing buying location right here. If you take a look at the 15 minute, um, if you take a look at the 15 minute, this really was the lows back here. So SPY, glorious, glorious bounce. And if you take a look here, we did have a beautiful evening star reversal pattern. So SPY definitely looking to go higher. Um, and like I said, stay bullish on the markets. If you're wondering where I think the markets will go, um, I'll just get rid of these drawings quickly and I'll do some quick fibs. So from here, uh, we did expect to have a little pullback here. So from these lows to the, the swing high to swing lows, 305.18. And just to confirm that, I will uh, just take a little swing high, swing low here. And as you can see, that is the, the pretty much the 2.5 retracement. So from here, 305.20 is my target to on the SPY. Anyway, enough about the SPY. Here's the DIA, Dow Jones. We did come back and close this gap yesterday and, oh, sorry, today. And as you can see, we did come straight down to the 10 and bounce. So Keep staying bullish on the markets, guys. Um, like I said, it's not going to be the very top of the market just yet. Um, I don't see anything in particular um, screaming that we're going to roll over just yet. Here's Foot Locker, ticker symbol FL. And very good to see we are actually getting some increasing volume 
we are getting some increasing volume down here at this support level at 4081. If you take a look at the long term moving averages, um, take a look at the long term moving averages, we are quite a well away, but on the weekly chart, uh, sorry, on the monthly chart, we are in between the 100 and the 200. Personally, I would have liked to see this come down to the 200. I think that would be an absolutely amazing buying opportunity. Um, but on the daily, with the increasing volume coming in right here and hopefully breaking out of this little, tiny little wedge here, this will most likely look to bounce and close this gap. So FL, um, fairly neutral, but I would not be surprised if we bounce here. Here's Shopify, aka Moon Lambo, um, back up to 3.31. I still, we do have earnings right around the corner, guys, as you can see here. Um, earnings is reporting on the 1st of August. So personally, I think we will get a gap down, quite a large gap down on Shopify. I'm not bearish on the company at all. Um, I just... I guess, I'm, I, and I will, be, I will be having a small speculation on that particular trade. Um, but realistically, I want to buy Shopify as low as possible. Um, it, however, if we do get a gap up, I mean, we are most likely going to go to 400. So Shopify looking super bullish, short-term moving averages just still have not hit the 50 um, it has been a while, so that's why I'm not buying up here. I am looking for a, I am looking for a better buying location. Um, but keep being bullish on Shopify short term. But earnings just around the corner, so keep your eyes peeled. Here's Square now, just on the long term moving averages here. So I did speak. I have been speaking about this since, well, basically since here, but. When around here, I did say that most likely we will get a quick push up until $80 and then we'll probably chop around here and then have one more push higher. I don't know how high we're going to go. I'm hoping my target is 100. Um, we may only push to 90 if we do get a nice gap up above these highs. Um, but I am keeping a close eye on Square. Does still look bullish um, just along with the rest of the markets, but... Um, if you are in Square, keep holding. Earnings coming up just around the corner. And uh, yeah, be excited. Speaking of earnings, Netflix rep reporting earnings today. And what an amazing gap down. We did not gap. We actually gapped down below this level. So I was not going to play this bullish. And we didn't gap above here. So from here, guys, I am quite neutral. Um, if you take a look at the weekly chart, I still do believe that we will come back to fill this weekly gap and that will coincide with the 100 uh, simple moving average on the daily. So, I mean, I'm oh, sorry, on the weekly. So Netflix is pulling back a little bit. We do have a beautiful high wave candle on the daily chart. Um, if, and if you did look to play this on the intraday, take a look at the three minute. So, here was all the short sellers basically buying to cover their position right here at open. Everyone's super happy. And then, so that was the retest and here was the rollover. So a nice little entry with a stop above here would have scored you a nice little 2R today if you did play Netflix. But Netflix, long term, great company. Um, I do expect this to come down a little bit lower fill this gap and uh, we'll just see how we go from there. Here's Amazon. Now, beautiful, beautiful hammer. Great long lower wick retesting this resistance level right here. Um, tomorrow is going to be a very interesting day. So tomorrow being Friday, if we get a gap up above this, above the high of today's candle, I will be looking to play this thing bullish um, short term as a day trade, obviously, um, but absolutely amazing, absolutely amazing hammer. We do have earnings just around the corner. So guys, make sure you are locking in your gains on all your stocks, but um, 
definitely look to buy the dips. If we do get a nice gap down to the 100 on Amazon, I am going to buy for sure. I did miss this. I did. I did miss this buying opportunity right here. Although I did speak about it, I just forgot to pretty much just forgot to take the order. So um, I won't be missing it next time. Um, Amazon looking amazing. And here is MU. Now MU retest gap, retest gap of the century today. Uh, we did gap up slightly. And if you take a look at the five minute, here's exactly how you would have played it. So. It was a gap and go on the five minute and we did retest these highs from the, from the previous day. So really, as soon as we had this high wave candle and entry with a stop below here, you would have gotten triggered in right here. And this would have been an absolute home run with a probably a two, two to two and a half hour trade. Um, I did not see this. However, um, I was too busy sleeping, but NU beautiful, beautiful, retest gap and if you're in MU stay long uh, most likely we will gap up and trade a little bit higher closed out a swing trade on WWE for a small loss um, just two days ago right here I did enter back here and did not do exactly what I thought so closed out for a small 0.3 R loss and we have got earnings right around the corner. So I will be looking to see how we play out on this. Um, but if you take a look at the weekly chart, the 100 is right there. And if we do get a gap down to the 100, I will be looking to buy as this is a nice pre previous support level to go long. So WWE, keep your eyes peeled for a buying opportunity if we do gap down on earnings. Here's your Lords and what a beautiful bullish day today it was. Um, now we di I did expect this choppiness to occur. I am hoping for this to continue into the new all time highs, but all Lords guys just be bullish um, by the dips. If you look at the short term moving averages, we did come down to the 20 as expected. So um, be bullish on the all Lords. Here's APT. And I, I did say that most likely this is a nice little buying opportunity off the 100. However, we do have very small volume. So I wouldn't be surprised if this thing breaks a little bit lower. Um, if we did come back down to $20, I will be looking to buy. But it is at the 100 simple. So if you're looking to buy long term, this is a great time to start legging into a trade. Here's one we haven't spoke about in a while is Altium ALU. Now, I haven't spoke about this since this day here back in May. And I did say we're at the 100 guys. Most likely we will go higher. So if you did take that information and buy the dip on Altium, well done. Um, but pretty much just keep buying the dips, guys. On the short-term moving averages, we are above the 10 and we are slowly grinding higher. So Altium looking great. Here's ANZ and this was a really nice dip buying opportunity. Um, on the long-term moving averages, we did come back down to the 100. We did have a nice little bit of coilage action for the last four days. And right now we are bouncing. So on the banks, ANZ, be bullish. Speaking of banks, here's Commonwealth Bank and pretty much doing the same thing. We have been coiling here for a little while and most likely we will trade higher. So CBA, be long on the banks, guys. Well, at least CBA and, and ANZ, be long. Um, let's take a look at some commodities. So here's oil, crude oil. Now, pulling back some, we have still been consolidating in this little wedge here. Uh, it is a long-term wedge, um, but most likely if we do trade back down to these lows at around $52, I will be looking to buy. Um, however, if we break down, I'll probably look to buy again at a lower price. But US oil, like I said, guys, I am fairly neutral at this point because we are at the 100 and 200 simple moving average and we are resisting this upper resistance level of this wedge. So 
Look to buy low, sell high. This is a double bottom and we finally are retesting. So we could bounce here, um, but just keep your eyes peeled on oil. Here's gold and we did break out of this wedge, guys, and we did go bullish. So right now I'm not buying. I missed this. Um, I did not expect this bounce right here to occur so strongly. Um, but if you take a look at JNUG, which is an ETF that tracks gold, we just absolutely have been screaming bullish for the last two days from $65 all the way up to 86 would have been an absolute home run of a trade. Um, but all in all, like I said, guys, be bullish on gold. Now's not the time to buy. Uh, just keep looking to buy the dips. Um, if we do get a, if we do get a quick little dip, I will be looking to buy gold. Here's the Aussie dollar. And I did actually exit my trade on the AUD USD uh, yesterday at a break even level right here. So my break even was up here. Sorry, my break even was not there. Sorry. Break even was 7028. Um, as soon as we got this doji indecision candle come in and we started to getting, we started to get some decent volume. If you just take a look at the 15 minute, uh, I'll be able to show you right here. So I saw this pattern forming right here, this nice little inverted head and shoulders pattern. And I was like, well, okay, I think, I think the, the bearish run is over for now. So looking for a better entry, AUD USD, um, looking to go a little bit higher, but we are running into the 200 again. So I'll look to probably try and take another short opportunity on that one. Here's GBP AUD and pretty much doing the same thing. Just chilling at the moment. Um, not, I do not have any open positions yet on any of the the currency pairs at this point in time. I am just watching and waiting for a nice little setup. But GBP AUD could potentially come higher, um, a little bit higher, and then I'll probably look to short it. Um, here's a GBP uh, New Zealand dollar. Now, this one is quite interesting. Um, this is a long-term support level. So we've been here before. Oops, sorry. We have been here before. As you can see, we did form this beautiful hammer of Thor back in December. And personally, guys, I think we're going to go a little bit lower as we are creating some lower highs. Um, I, don't think, I don't think that we're going to just bounce straight on out of here as we do have the long-term moving averages here. So... Um, Keep your eyes on it. I will be looking for this. I will be looking for something like this to occur. And then I'll, that's when I'll be looking to take this long term. But right now I am still a little bit bearish on GBP and ZD. Well, that's all I've got for you today, guys. Um, I will be back next week on Tuesday with another real life stock review. And next week, if you have not signed up already, Hop on over to reallifetrading.com and join the free week from July 22nd to July 26th. You're going to be absolutely blown away by the content and you will learn so much. Um, it is an, it's just an amazing opportunity to trade alongside Jeremy and Jeremy and Blake and Brad and just the rest of the team. Um, I hope to see you all there and until next week, have a great weekend and love life, live life and trade it.